Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. And I appreciate Andy Tweed and, and John David Santee sitting in for a, a couple of segments there as we talk turkey. And uh, as the season opens today in Tennessee and runs through the 28th of May, but let's switch gear and talk to another subject that uh, that we love to talk to on Outdoors with Larry Ray. And this guy would normally be with us, but he's had a busy week. And uh, he's been in South Louisiana uh, in the Cajun country down there. And you know who I'm talking about. It's Ron Wong. Good morning, Ron. <laughs> hey, good morning, Larry. How are you? I'm doing a lot better and uh, going to be on the Little Red River Monday, Ron. So I know that's oh uh, that's going to really jealous. yes yes well I'm jealous for you man you're down there where you're eating food I can't eat but I love but uh, tell our listeners uh, tell our listeners where you've been because uh, it, it it was a trip that uh, we just couldn't pass up we wanted Ron down there with outdoors of Larry Ray with uh, Mark Copling the Strike King King but tell tell our listeners what's been up this week. Well, I have been. I, as a matter of fact, I'm on my way home right now. Yes. This early Saturday morning. Yes. And anyway, I was at Gross Savane Hunting and Fishing Lodge, which is a resort. Actually, I have to tell you. <laughs> yes. And we're gonna we're gonna learn a lot more about this place uh, down the road. Here we'll be talking with Doug Miller, the executive director for Gross Savane, but they hosted a Strike King media camp. And this place is about, by the way, the bird flies about 15 miles from the Gulf of Mexico. Near Lake Charles, right? I mean, it's down in that yeah. area. Okay. South, south of Lake Charles. Sa- I didn't south think you could go south of Lake much. Charles. I didn't think you could go oh, south. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, yeah. We're yeah. in the marshland there. But it's a, I have to tell you, it's, 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 a, it's it, a destination. It is. I've seen uh, pictures of it, Ron, and this is a uh, old... A plantation from the 1800s uh, that uh, the families have taken over, and they right there in the big pasture. Uh, and and I even found out what gross a uh, savane meant, and that's translated in the in the in in the French language, uh, big pasture. Uh, and and so, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. It's pasture. In a marsh. In a marsh. A huge yeah. Huge marsh. <laughs> yeah. And what were you? What were you able to do down there? What do you? What, what we did were you? We were down there for a Strike King media camp. Strike King lure media camp. We had eight Strike King pros there, of which many of them have. Well, all of them except one have been on the Outdoors with Larry Ray show. Big Hackney, Davis. Um. Gosh, my mind's. It's foggy. That's okay. Well, I know Mark Davis, uh, Greg Hackney. You had a lot of the guys there, and, oh, and of course oh, our yeah. good, our good friend Mark Copley uh, was was organized uh, organized it and uh, threw the door open for 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 uh, um, for Ron to be a part of it. Did did, did did you get to fish any, Ron? We fished every day. <laughs> yeah, and you know what they did was they rotated us. With all of these professional languages, oh Mark my, Rose was there. Oh my, all yeah, of them. yeah. And so what you're going to see is we're going to have a bunch of videos. Okay. Out on um, Larry Ray, um, Larry Ray dot com. Larry Ray dot com, and all of these pros talking and giving some great tips about post spawn fishing, about gross of vein. And many of them have not been there like me. Yes. And how they break down going to a new place to fish. I mean, this is some really, really interesting and great uh, videos that uh, we have shot for from all of these pros talking about these things and talking about some new products that ah, yeah, Strike yeah. King is out. Yes, and, uh, yeah. So, yeah, and you got the you got the twelve thousand uh, uh, square foot mansion at the resort. You got fifty oh, thousand acres, and then at the same time, Ron, I know you could go 
uh, we knew you would fish, but there was some food too, Ron. It looks like you you didn't do badly on eating either. They, uh, <laughs> listen, Larry, they have a full time five star chef. Oh there. my goodness! Uh, uh, yeah, first night there, uh, they had a twenty two ounce ribeye steak. Twenty two ounce. Come on. Listen, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With with uh. These uh, pota- baked potatoes yes. with crawfish that you failed. Oh, oh my. Oh, my. Oh, it's, it was unbelievable. Uh. Next night, uh, they did these uh, duck breasts with uh, some kind of a Cajun spinach. Oh, me. That's type. enough, Ron. I'm getting uh, hungry, Ron. Yeah. And, and I'm, then uh, last night, what uh, was, last night there, yes, what was it? It was a huge. Crawfish boy. Oh, I figured that's yeah. what it was. I yeah, figured it was. A hundred pounds of crawfish. A hundred pounds. Well, if, if you, when you got some pretty good sized guys there, you know they won't that uh, that well, want to I eat. Got a, Mark <laughs> Davis. Can he can put it away. Yeah, <laughs> he he can put it away. But when I'm looking forward, and Ron is going to have a lot of uh, some photographs, some interviews from down there. We appreciate Mark Copley. Because uh, Ron told me, I said this would be a normal. He would be in the studio, and I said, Ron, you got to go to that and represent it's outdoor. Nice, Larry, yeah, yeah, it's a bucket list destination. Yes, I've heard about Not it. Not only for me, but for everybody. And, and, and I will tell you, uh, the fishing is fantastic. And when we get Doug Miller on, he's going to talk about blast and cast. Oh, uh, yeah. In September, okay, and yep. they'll include an alligator hunt. An alligator hunt. Oh my oh, god! This is amazing. And this and is. Oh, a, by the way, yeah. we had some fresh alligator bites, fried alligator bites one night oh. for a appetizer. Oh my! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my! That's enough, Ron. I'm I'm so hungry right now. I don't know what to do, but. Uh, <laughs> Well, all right, now, now let's, let's take a little break. We're going to bring Ron back for uh, as we close out today's show with Ricky Dukes and my good friends at Smith Com- Consumer Products. But i got to know, Ron, uh, some folks have asked. Uh, uh, they missed those fishing reports, and I know you're, you're coming back from down there. You've been away for a few days, but uh, what are you hearing about local fishing? Local fishing. First of all, a lot of our lakes, especially the I-55 lakes, uh, have come up enough to where it's flooded some bushes. Okay. So you crappie fishermen, it's time to do the wading. Wading, okay. And, all right. Uh, any of the backwaters. Uh, and all you need is a uh, uh, Bobby Garland slab slayer. Oh, yeah. Or a crappie magnet and a bright color chartreuse and orange, uh, pink and black, stuff like that. Uh, 12 to 18 inches deep around bushes. Around bushes, okay. a bunch of fish. Okay, uh, all right. Like that. Uh, the spillways are really good right now. Good, okay. Uh, and all you need to do is tie you on uh, two coffee jigs in a bright color. Bright color, all and, right. And a bright color uh, and under a float. And throw it in the eddy parts of oh, the spillways. Yeah, and yeah. it's real simple. Yep. And they're catching a lot of fish. And the thing you need to know about what fishing in our spillways there, yeah, is that they do not have the twelve-inch limit. Okay. Or yeah. Size. Yeah. You can keep any size crappie in the spillways. What about bass? It doesn't have to what about a, bass? Bass fishing is excellent. Uh, it's really getting good at Pickwick. Oh, I've heard that, uh, the yeah. Fish, the fish are biting. They're getting on the flats, the edge of flats. Yep, yep. On the major creeks and using a red-eye shad. Red-eye shad. Even a buzz bait right now is working really, really well. And, now, Ron, i got to ask you also, we talked to Andy Tweed a little bit. That don't let the warmer temperatures fool you about that that water temperature, right, Ron? I mean. Uh, no, that's exactly right. Oh, no, no, no. one other place to go now yeah and they're catching some good fish what's that and you can get in 
Herb Parsons Lake. Oh, okay. To Memphis. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's where you want to go. Okay. All right. And then tell us about the water temperature and where that life jacket and stuff water like that. Water temperature right now that's dropped a little bit. It is about high 60s, low 70s in most places. A lot of the crappie have spawned. Okay. Uh, but they're still shallow guarding fry. Guarding fry. Okay. Well, that's our man, Ron Wong, and we're going to bring Ron back uh, for the final segment because, uh, man, when you talk of Rook, uh, Ricky Dukes, Smith Consumer Products, I don't know how many products they got, Ron, but uh, I got you uh, some fishing pliers here for you that they sent. All right. And I'm hanging on to them. I, I'm hanging on to yours. Shelby got her a pair, and we're going to give away some more when we talk to Ricky later on. But, uh, you be safe, and we'll get back with you in about uh, 15, 20 minutes. Okay, man? All right? I'm looking forward to it. All right. Ron Wong, we'll be right back. All right? Uh, folks, I, I want to remind you uh, quickly that uh, there's a lot of things going on right now in April, uh, so don't let just uh, just what we talk about here on Outdoors of Larry Ray. I heard there's something going on out at Shelby Forest this weekend. Uh, the fishing is getting good at all the area lakes. Uh, as I said earlier, today is opening day for the turkey season in Tennessee. Uh, be sure and check those new regulations, the bag limits, and all those different kind of things. You need to have that out there. And we're going to be posting some pictures. If you kill a turkey today, I want to know some pictures. Send them to lroutdoors at att.net. That's lroutdoors at att.net. I'd like to see some of those pictures. We'll post them on Larry Ray. That's LarryRea.com. And, and give you all the information. So let's take a break. Coming back, and we're going to talk about mushrooms. I love this song. Outdoors are Larry. We cover a lot of things, but we're heading up to the Tennessee National Wildlife Refuge talking mushrooms on Outdoors of Larry Wright. Mm-hmm. 